In this video, we are going to discuss about signal function. Up to now, we discussed unit step function and impulse function. Similar to that, we are having signal function in the listing of basic signals. So, here generally signal function is denoted with SGN of t or SGN of n in discrete sense. So, the definition of if this uh, signal function SGN of t is equivalent to 1, this function is equivalent to 1 when t greater than 0 and this is equivalent to 0 when t is equivalent to 0 and this is equivalent to minus 1 when t less than 0. This is the definition of signal function in time domain. So, continuous time domain. So, here if you want to represent in image for this signal function, you can take horizontal axis and in this horizontal axis you need to consider your time. So, here the signal you need to consider in y axis or vertical axis SGN of t. So, now according to this definition, this signal function is equivalent to 1 when t greater than 0. So, as this time is equivalent to continuous time, you can take this as 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. So, there is no gap in between the intervals. You need not to take any gap between the intervals. You can take all the time periods you are having from 0 to greater than that means t greater than 0 means 0 to infinity that means 0, 0 0.0001 also we are having in the image. So, here that is why from t greater than 0 t greater than 0 onwards this is equivalent to 1 and here when t equal to 0 this is equivalent to 0 when t less than 0 you are having minus 1 this is the pictorial representation of your signal function. So, here you can observe when t greater than 0 you are having 1 and when t less than 0, less than 0 means you are having, so you, you will uh, come with negative axis. So, in negative axis your signal value is equivalent to minus 1 and here at t equal to 0 if you take in the average of these two voltages, so how will take average? So, addition of two voltages divided by 2, if you take in the addition then 1 minus 1 will become 0, 0 divided by 2 you are going to get 0 only. So, the value here is equivalent to 0. So, according to the definition this is the diagram representing signal function. Same signal function you can represent in discrete also. In discrete sense you need to represent or you need to define your signal function with n as a function of discrete time, discrete time nothing but n. So, here same definition will come except in place of t you are going to write n. So, here signal of n is equivalent to 1 when n greater than 0 and this is equal to 0 when n equal to 0 and this is equivalent to minus 1 when n less than 1. If you want to represent in a mesh for this discrete uh, signal function you need to uh, consider your discrete time axis n. And here I am considering discrete intervals of time 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. And here I am considering minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on. If you observe the definition, so this is equivalent to 1 when n greater than 0. So, this is equivalent to 1 when n greater than 0 means here you are having sample and here you are having sample. Here you are having sample, you will get samples like this up to infinity. And here from minus 1 onwards at uh, n equal to 0, you are not having anything. So, I am representing just 0 and n less than 1. n less than 1 means or n less than 0. This is the definition with n less than 0. With n less than 0 means minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 comes under this picture. So, this value is equivalent to minus 1. So, reverse sample minus 1 means reverse sample. So, these sample values are minus 1 and these sample voltages are plus 1. So, if you see the difference between these two, you can get an idea. 
So, this is discrete signal function, this is continuous signal function, but the definition is same for both that means when t equal to 0 your signal function value is equivalent to 0, when t greater than 1 or t greater than 0 that means in positive axis that is equivalent to 1, in negative axis that is equivalent to minus 1. So, this is a unit signal function, the area covered by this unit signal function is also equivalent to 1. Coming to the relation between unit step and signal function, this is very very important point, relation between unit step and signal, relation between unit step and signal function is g n of t. So, this u of t, so signal of t is equal to 2 u of t minus 1. So, the relation is s g n of t is equal to 2 u of t minus 1. How we can prove this relation between signal function and unit step function means you can take 2 u of t as you know that u of t is equal to 1 from t greater than or equal to 0. That means so you are going to get uh, multiplied with 2 means the voltage of 1 will shift to 2. So, initially u of t is having voltage throughout uh, from t equal to 0, 0 to infinity when we are multiplying with 2. So, then that voltage will shift to 2. So, here the 2 into u of t signal will be like this. So, total voltage from t greater than or equal to 0 will be equal to 2. So, this is 2 u of t and I am going to take 1. So, so, if you want to consider this one, 1 is nothing but a DC signal. So, this is 1 DC, so with voltage 1 and here if you subtracted this signal with this DC 1, if you subtracted that means minus, then what you are going to get here? So, if you consider the result, then you can see the result. So, here you are not having anything into your t as you know that unit step, uh, step function is equal to 0 in negative axis that means t less than 0. So, here you are having 0, 0 minus here you are having 1. So, this dc1 is 1 from minus infinity to plus infinity. So, that is why 0 to that means minus infinity to 0 your 2 u of t value is 0 and if you subtracted 1 from this 0 you are going to get minus 1. So, you are going to get minus 1 and from here 0 onwards you are going to consider 2 minus 1. If you consider 2 minus 1 what you are going to get? So, that is plus 1, 2 minus 1. So, here your 2 u of t is having 2 voltage from t greater than 0 onwards. So, 2 minus 1 if you subtracted this dc1 from this 2 then continuously you are going to get 1 from t greater than 0 to infinity. So, here the average of voltage will become 0, 1 minus 1 divided by 2 it will become 0. The resultant is a signal function, you can observe this is the resultant of 2 u of t minus 1 by this uh, image um, processing. So, here the result is equivalent to signal function that means when t equal to 0 average voltage 0 will come and here from t greater than 0 1 will come and t less than 0 minus will, will come. So, this is about signal function in the basic signals of signals and systems. So, now the definitions are very very important both in uh, continuous and discrete domains. So, and uh, the relation is very important, relation of unit step and signal is very important. This is uh, this uh, problem or this property, this relation directly asked in gate like technical exam in uh, one year. So, for one mark I think. So, they asked, uh, they already asked this relation, what is the relation between unit step and signal function. If they ask like that, definitely you can give this relation as SGN of t equal to 2 u of t minus 1. This is about signal function.